And I love how he didn't even make himself like a big hero figure. He even went as far as to make the whole, oh, they basically said that he was a lunatic and tried to deface him by saying that he all the like games were- He basically was trolling the entire Fazbear Entertainment. He was! I let's think... be honest, let's be honest, think... anyone who's self-aware like any of us and Scott Corbin would be trying to troll Fazbear Entertainment. Oh, mm. fucking mm -hmm. really? Mm. He's just like Stan Lee. Hang on, hang on, um... <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, apparently some of you have posted the comments saying that, um... I, I, I read this comment from somewhere, but I forgot that. Uh, he says that, uh, that I think that Scott, Scott Cawthon is just purposely making more FNAF games just to, uh, just to piss off, uh, um, game theory. <laughs> Probably. Well, if just, it sells. <laughs> just to troll game theory. Hmm. Well, AKA hey. poor Matt Pat, since he's the yep. one. Yep, but at the same time. At the same time, Markiplier said that the FNAF VR was literally the scariest game he had ever played since then. Well, of course Markiplier said that! That fucking, <laughs> uh, that fucking golden bunny is just creepy as hell. It is! That thing creeped me out when I saw it the first time. Like, Fuck. what the freaking heck it's is that thing? It looks like a panel. Its official name is Spring Bonnie in the game files, but everybody calls it a glitch trap. Hmm. I'm gonna, yeah. go I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it Spring Bonnie because I want to get battle. I think, get battle and I'm with EG. I'm with EG. It looks like a fucking pedophile. <laughs> well, <laughs> William Af fucking grin, bro. Well, I mean, William Afton's entire career is abducting children, doing things that we are not yet aware of to them, and then stuffing them into suits and turning them into ghost monsters. We don't know what happens in between. <laughs> I mean, this, the FNAF is already dark and God, there. come on. He's like, I'm not saying he did, but no one said he did. There didn't. we go. Get over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I have the wave beam. Fuck yeah. Yay. And since I have a lot of health, I'm not going to celebrate too soon. I hope this is you a safe spot. Warning. Congratulations, you now have wall hacks. <laughs> I, am, I now have DNA <laughs> strand shots. So, like, literally. <laughs> Also, at some point in the game, do you get that, like, cathartic scenario where you can finally do damage to SAX? Um, I'm not gonna answer that. Okay. That's spoiling. No spoilers. No spoilers! <laughs> Her face when she said that. No spoilers! Yeah. I know I made a joke about it earlier, but I, it's like, I do want to say, like, Thanks for introducing me to Metroid in one of the best ways possible. <laughs> and if it's in my power, I'm looking forward to actually trying some of these games for myself. Oh. Oh, you should. They're, they can be. They are very fun to play. Okay, I will tell you this much. Um, as far as uh, any Metro game, I would recommend. I definitely recommend Super Metroid. It definitely does a quick recap of what happened in the first two games. If you are going to take on the first two games, you can kind of tell from my experience they have an H2L. Well. But, uh, it definitely, like, it's definitely a start. Um, if you do want to try the first two games, there is Zero Mission, which was a remake of uh, the first game. And there's Samus Returns yes. on the 3DS, which was a remake yeah. of the second one. Yes, that one was actually really good. They did a good job with that one. And how is like how approachable would you consider the Prime series? Does that age well? I have yet to play them. Oh, okay. You should ask Solar. Solar is the one who plays the Metro Prime. Actually, uh, Solar had an unopened cock. Ow! Fuck! I bit myself. An open cock? <laughs> what? No. Um, <laughs> okay, there's a scene here. Let's wait till the scene comes and goes. So there's a shit ton of Metroids in the background. Okay. Uh oh. Oh my Where's fucking that one god. Part? Yeah. We're in that part now. I know this part. That's a lot Crimson of face Star, thank you for I mean, hosting. Metroids. That's a lot of jellies. <laughs> oh god. Jelly. You can see where, them all in development. I know where, I know where they all lead, I know where this leads to. Oh well. boy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically... Um, 
the people who behind this lab who kept the X parasites also had kept the Metroids in secret from Samus. Oh shit. Six seconds to detachment of restricted laboratory. Oh my god. Run away! That's clever. <laughs> I like that. Oh, and look who's attacking him! Yeah, oh, get yeah, out of my that, way! Okay. Oh. That is like, I know that it's like really obvious to say it, but it's really clever how SAX has a near bloodthirsty fixation on the Metroids because SAX is based on Samus. But also, they are the ones that actually are oh, able to. Oh shit, there goes a chunk. Parasites. So it's a mixture between the X Parasites' need to survive and Samus's hatred of the Metroids. All right. Or, like, you Something know, her like mission that. to destroy them. All right, dialogue change. Like Samus, that. you shouldn't have done that. You ignored your orders. You may have to pay a price for that quite soon. <laughs> you think As you, you can, can stop see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program. For peaceful application only, of course. Please understand. But perhaps you already knew of this program's existence. Certainly, you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1. SRX, a faithful repl uh, replica of the SR388 uh, ecosystem. Ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. This research even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Imagine creating an Omega from a larva Metroid in days, but that research is finished. The X has smelled out of its natural enemy, and of the SAX is on its way here. One? Are you saying there is more than one SAX? Don't be so surprised, uh, Samus. You know that oh. X-Ring... Yep. my fucking god. You know that the X reproduced by asexual division. Because of this mechanisms, there are now no fewer than 10 SAX aboard the station. Yep. That's how she can be everywhere at once. Mm-hmm. That's how she keeps there that's how she keeps more than one. She keeps showing up wherever you are because she's multiple multiplying. Samus, you must go. Get out. If you stay too long, the SAX will destroy you. Stop only at a navigation room to uplink me. I don't know how uh, HQ was going to take this, but you need to report them immediately. Is your objective clear? Now, get going. I love how these guys uh, are... I love how these guys are like, you disobeyed orders, we're gonna kill you or some shit, and it's like, oh, by the way, you still need to do this. Yeah, so back to what I was saying earlier um, for the, um, uh, the Metroid Prime series. It, uh, Bronicon, not last year, but the year before, Solar actually gave me an unopened copy along with his old uh, 3DS. Hmm. Like, literally, he just handed it to me in person. Oh, cool. So that's Sam is talking about Adam Malkovich. I heard that he was a terrible character in um, Other M. Yeah. In Other M, he was basically her senpai. And because yeah, Samus's character was butchered in Other M, it didn't help. No. Well, I actually like that game, though. Late There's late like, I imagine the gameplay wasn't bad or anything, just a lot of people didn't like what they did to Samus. Sure. But yeah, basically, yeah. not only did this, uh, not only is what this, uh, what the, this laboratory is doing with involving the Metroids, which is considered complete stupidity if you ask me, but also, now, SAX, had multiple babies and they are still hunting you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so the I assume like the original SAX has to have like mutated into something bigger now. If it's able to produce multiple Samus sized mini SAX. We're not gonna say anything for now. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> ah that's gonna be a terrific boss fight. It's going good. Yeah. Um, hopefully to finish the game. Which isn't too long. Yeah, if I remember right, you got to... I'm off to... tonight. 
if I'm guessing right, you're close. Yeah, I can to, do that. Like, I'm pretty sure you're like in the halfway point now. Okay. We're in the end game now. God damn it. So, I don't know which part, uh, I don't know how close uh, you are to, in the game, but I know for a fact you're getting really close to the end. Alright. Because after that announcement of the fact there was more than one uh, SAX, there, it's gonna, pop, it's gonna, it's pretty much go quickly fast. Mm. Not, uh, fusion. Also, another thing that completely disproves my earlier hypothesis about whether or not you're actually Samus in this game. What? Okay, so during the stream, I talked about a hypothetical scenario which I knew was false because, you know, it was all but confirmed by multiple parts of the game that you are Samus. But I have this weird hypothesis that since your part Metroid and the SAX looks like actual Samus more than you do, I thought it may have been the SAX was actually just Samus trying to kill you and you're perceiving her as a monster because she's trying to kill you. But now she's like, oh, there are multiple SAXs, so you have to be the actual Santa. <laughs> so that basically proves what I already know. Oh, oh God. No, 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 what? no, no. I don't want to deal with that right now. I got to... Oh, God. Season. Point. Season. What if... And what if we dare Golden Fox to play any game on Webkins? <laughs> <laughs> I hope Season got that. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Anyway, I should probably continue the Oh god, she said this. yes! <laughs> oh god. Of course she did. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, god. Stop watching your damn thing! God damn it. Get out of there! 